Welcome. Please allow me to begin with a brief disclaimer and statement about trauma and influences in our life that are beyond our control. First and foremost, throughout any of your time implementing any of the work you are learning at ATA, Altogether Academy, or with me, Michael Boyle, please prioritize your physical and mental health. You are responsible for your physical, mental, and emotional safety. You are responsible to be in touch with local, accessible, licensed healthcare providers and to be aware of how to contact emergency services if needed. Nothing we do here at ATA on this website in conjunction with me, Michael Boyle, or any related pages, videos, PDFs, MP3s, etc., is a replacement for professional, medical, and or mental health care. And even though I am a licensed marriage and family therapist in New Mexico, USA, ATA work does not constitute formal psychotherapy. What you can experience here falls under the rubric of education and you are always empowered to do or not do, read or not read, watch or not watch, listen or not listen, stop or start, continue or discontinue according to your needs, desires, and goals and under the guidance of your local professional healthcare providers. And so while we speak consistently in this training ground about empowering ideas and tools about how we can dramatically improve our lives and physical, mental, and emotional health, through using practical, safe, and effective tools, we also understand and promote a trauma-sensitive approach. And what I mean by this is that we understand there are forces and influences in our lives that are beyond our control that can make it significantly harder to take matters into our own hands and improve our inner and outer conditions. Some of these influences include things like accidents, trauma, perpetration, racism, other cultural factors, gender norms, sexual preferences. However, this is not an exhaustive list. And so while we speak about and, and encourage each other to do the work to experience PTG, post-traumatic growth, we in no way promote victim blaming, victim shaming, gaslighting, denial, condoning wrongdoing, etc. That being said, we are all imperfect beings and I, as the founder of ATA, am well aware that I carry unconscious biases and assumptions, that I make mistakes, that I project my perceptual limitations onto others in the world, that I assume at times I am right when I am wrong, and when there are other ways to also be right. I welcome feedback that is in the interest of us all growing together to be better, kinder, more open-hearted, more effective stewards of uplifting humanity to a higher standard of and for all. Awareness-loving life, because after all, together we thrive.